Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Mike Seeley. And I'm Dawn Baker. The city of Savannah cut the ribbon on the Broughton Streetscape project just a few weeks ago. That project, which was only supposed to take a few months, instead took nearly three years to complete. WTOC investigates Max Deeknight has new details about a grisly surprise that was responsible for one of the several delays. Yeah, hey Mike and Dawn, last fall construction for that $13 million project came to a halt after workers found bones under Broughton Street. There was concern that they could be human remains. Well, now we know more about that discovery. A GBI report obtained by WTOC Investigates sheds more light on the bones found on Broughton Street. Back in October, construction on the Broughton Streetscape project was paused for several days after construction workers found bones underneath the street. The GBI was called in to find out whether those bones were human remains. A detective with the Savannah Police Department and the state's leading forensic anthropologist, Dr. Alice Gooding, reviewed photos of the remains. They say they are not human. Dr. Gooding says the size and shape of the bones and the number of cusps on the teeth mean they are definitely not human remains. As for how animal bones could have ended up buried under downtown Savannah, Dr. Gooding told us the bones are very old. She says Broaden Street would have had many large animals many years ago since animals were used for transportation and were shipped through Savannah's port. Historic items like bones and cannonballs have been uncovered so many times during recent construction projects in Savannah that the city created an archaeology ordinance back in 2019. Mike and Dawn. All right, thanks a lot, Max.